You know, I think one of the uh, common ethical issues um, as a medical officer of health is balancing the voice uh, that you use in your professional practice, uh, which is informed by public health evidence and theory uh, and ethics, uh, with the uh, political domain that public health practice occurs in. So one example you might consider is, say you have a government that is uh, promoting a war on drugs or a punitive type approach to uh, substance use. And there is a wealth of evidence that that is not only ineffective as a public health approach, but it's actually harmful. It causes worse outcomes in terms of higher rates of incarceration, higher rates of uh, bloodborne infections like viral hepatitis or HIV, you know, just as examples. Um, in contrast, a harm reduction approach to substance use has a lot of evidence behind it in terms of reducing those types of infections or reducing uh, overdose events, for example. So as a public health professional, if you were wanting to speak to the public health evidence and rationale for a harm reduction approach, that might be seen as in conflict with your employer uh, if they were to favor a war on drugs type approach. And I think part of the way uh, that personally I manage that uh, is first of all, being clear on the role and the capacity that I'm speaking in if I am making public statements uh, at any point in time. So as someone who also has an academic role, I might speak more from an academic role than as a medical officer of health. So I think that role clarity can be one way. Uh, secondly, uh, I think always speaking from the evidence and from the theory and from the logic and letting that stand on its own uh, and letting people making that comparison themselves to what you're saying around the evidence and the ethics and the logic to what the uh, government stated policy is. And then I think the third thing is being really well grounded and well connected in the communities that you serve. Uh, and in this community, uh, for me, it's Indigenous people and Indigenous people who use drugs in particular. And that's actually where I see my highest level of accountability. Um, and so I want to make sure that anything that I do say supports them, supports their inherent dignity and worth as uh, human beings. It's with respect and it's with love. It follows the direction of what they've told me that they need. Um, and again, it's rooted in public health evidence and ethics. And so that's an example of how I would navigate ethical issues as an MOH. Mm -hmm.